Hello guys and welcome back to Persona 3 Reload. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and learned all about Theurgy and about how we can use it in battle to help us out. And in this episode, uh, we're halfway through June already, time really does fly. And that also applies to real life too because we're currently, as of uploading this, we're currently in the middle of May right now. Or early May, I'm not entirely sure. I mean, I'm recording this in late April, but it's going to be posted in May. But yeah, time really does fly, doesn't it? Um, How's it going, Fuka? Um, um, as you may know, my persona is called Lucia. It's since I specialize in detecting enemies and processing information, my job is to provide everyone support. So while I can't confront enemies directly like you do, I'll still do whatever I can to help out the team. My weapon of choice is the Thrusting Sword. It was once used to settle duels in Europe. Its power and accuracy may be, an, may be average, but it's a reliable weapon with no particular downsides. I, personally, do not like to gamble with the effectiveness of my weapon, so that's ideal for me. Fuka will be supporting us. <sighs> she has the voice of an angel. Don't get me wrong, Kirijo senpai has a nice, nice voice too. It's just that Fuka's is just so calm and soothing. Kirijo senpai is doing support, and now she'll be fighting with us. Most of us can only do one or the other, but she can do both. She really can do anything, huh? Yeah, she's still got a bit of bitterness with her. There is a funny line, since I probably won't be using Junpei too much after this, uh, although I love his character, uh, I'll probably be using Yukari, uh, Mitsuru, and Sonata after this. There is a funny line uh, where if you're in Tartarus, Tartarus with Junpei and Mitsuru at the same time, he mentions how Fook is great, but he misses Kurijo because listening to her is like being stepped on or something like that. I don't know. Junpei's a weird one. Um, something that they don't mention is if we go ahead and go up to the command room. Never mind. Guess we have to wait a few days. Uh, I believe that exclamation mark is there because we, because we can buy those glasses, so nothing new over there. And we're getting low on money right now. But I do believe we can still buy burgers at Wild Duck. Oh, there you are. Good timing. There's something I have to tell you. From now on, you are no long you no longer need my permission to go to Tartarus. Very nice. All right. Yes. Yamagishi will be in charge of supporting the team from now on. But I did tell her not to go, not to let you go if both Akihiko and I are not available, just in case something unexpected happens. So please keep that in mind. One more thing, could you set aside some time tonight? It won't take too long. All right then, I'll see you later. Lots of stuff happening with C's. I mean, I guess it makes sense because we have a new member and that's something big. Last time we had a new member was when we joined and we had a bunch of stuff go on at that point. Ah, we can't level up Chihiro. So either Tomachika, Miyamoto, or Bebe. I guess we'll go with Tomachika just because we have a magician persona on us at the moment. Oh, Yuki, you want to grab ramen, right? Sure. It... it ju The dialogue just said, It looks like Tomachika wants to hang out. It really doesn't. It really doesn't look like he wants to hang out with us at the moment. Uh. Alright, let's go. I guess I'll get myself an extra large special. Uh. Sorry, man. But I've got to pass this time. Why? I forgot I have to go check out that cram school today. Sorry, man. No time for ramen today. I mean, getting into college is pretty important, don't you think? You think about the future too, right? Best option to say here is, I've got plans already. Oh, dude. I didn't know you were so serious about your future. I never really thought about my future until Emiri told me I should. She said I'd end up a loser if I didn't. But the future's a long way off. I mean, I still have to go to college first, right? Apparently, a bunch of Emiri's students go to good colleges. She must be thinking about our future together. You ought to think about your future too, man. I'd hate to see you end up becoming a loser, you know? That's why we gotta work our asses off. For our futures. Tomochika seems to be sincerely worried about my future. I feel like our relationship is stronger. Mm. 
Later. I'm heading to cram school. Welcome back. With that, we have all the second years present. So, what exactly are we all here for? Ah, I had planned to give Yamagishi a tour of the dorm, but I realized I never actually showed it properly to any of you since you moved in. I apologize for that. I'd like to take this opportunity to make it up to you all. Sounds good. Uh, you've kind of been living here all this time. I think we get the picture by now. <laughs> if any one of us needs it, it's you. You do realize if you screw around and break something, you'll get us all in trouble, right? Oh, come on! I'm getting by just fine. In fact, I know the place so well, I could give you a tour myself. <laughs> you'll make a great assistant, then. Humor me a bit, won't you? With the increase in members, I'd like to expand our access to facilities. Wait, new stuff? Sweet! So what, are we gonna get, like, hot springs? Or maybe a casino? You are so <laughs> stupid. Would there be a casino? We'll either? just have to see now, won't we? With that, let's begin. Yamagishi, follow me. Oh, okay. Thank you for setting this up for me. This is the communal kitchen. Oh, looks so clean now. I didn't realize the kitchen was so big. I was planning to do this earlier, but with April's shadow attack and ensuing investigation, I just couldn't find time. It should be far more accessible now. You're free to use any of the kitchenware here. Do you all cook your own meals? I've seen Akihiko in here from time to time. As for myself, I can't say I do. We used to have someone who cooked with some frequency, but... I'm gonna think of it. I only ever come here to get hot water. What about you? Uh, I'd like to try it. If you care about eating a balanced diet, there's no better way than to cook it yourself. <laughs> but it's not as cheap as they make it out to be. It's hard to use everything up before it goes bad. Wow, Yukari-chan. Does that mean you know how to cook? Huh? Oh, I mean, I can do it, I guess. But I'm no chef. It's been a while, and I've had my fair share of embarrassments. But with a kitchen this big, I think a couple people could work together in here. We can have the work, but double the flavor, you know? I should try it next time. If I invite someone to cook, we could use the kitchen to make something. Moving right along, then. Here's where we all hang! This is the lounge. Well, I suppose it requires no further explanation. Wait, is that a DVD player? When did that get here? Oh, that's mine. I brought it with me from home. It's a bit of an old model, though. Uh, thanks. It's no problem at all. It was a broken one to begin with, but I was able to fix it. So, I hoped you all might get some use out of it. The sofas here are pretty comfy. It'd be a perfect place to sit back and watch. Oh, maybe this would be a good place. There are some movies I've been wanting to see, but I'd rather not watch them alone. What's this? Is Yucatan afraid to watch horror flicks? It's quite a shocker to see your soft side. Hard to imagine you're even the same person. And what exactly is that supposed to mean? Uh, wait, what did I say? I take it back. I didn't mean anything by it, I swear. You've got some nerve, Junpei. You better watch your back next time we go to Tartarus. Um, Yukari-chan, you're kind of scaring me. I could probably watch a DVD with someone here. That wraps up the first floor. Let's move up to the next. Oh, by the way, Kirijo senpai are we allowed to borrow those books on the shelf in the back? Of course. Those books were donated by residents of the dorm. I peruse them from time to time myself. 
This area is pretty sweet. Nice and quiet. And let me tell you, those chairs are mwah, soft. When I cozy up here with a good book, I end up reading way late into the night. All you read is manga. <laughs> I think manga is a respectable form of literature. Maybe I'll try reading here as well. People are always coming and going from the lounge, so I could see this place being less distracting. I think I'd be able to focus and read a book here. Please, utilize it however you'd like. Any piece of literature is a means of broadening one's horizons. Aye aye, Captain! Just one thing, Iori. When you finish a manga, put it back on the shelf. I don't want to see them piled up on tables and chairs. Hi hi. Please, keep an eye on Junpei so he doesn't make a mess of this place. Let's keep moving on then. We'd been keeping the rooftop off limits, but recently decided to open it up. The chairman wanted to start a small garden here. Wow, I had no idea there was something like this up here. Is it for growing vegetables? Oh boy, I can hear him now. Eat your veggies, peas. That sounds about right. With a terrible smirk plastered on his face. I hear you're the one taking care of it. Looks like it's shaping up quite nicely. The chairman was right to put you in charge. Uh, are you okay doing this all on your own? It's no problem. Oh yeah? You like this kind of stuff? Gotta admit, looks kind of fun. Maybe we'll be raking in the harvest after a while. When that time comes, let us celebrate. <laughs> Why don't you use that energy to help him with the garden? The more time and care you put into this kind of work, the better the results. Cooperating with someone on this may be worth your time. I might be a bit interested as well. Having someone help me with the garden might affect the end result. That wraps up this area. Let's head back down. And that concludes the tour. Being shown around kind of makes me feel more motivated to make use of those places. Did you get all that? Anything you're still unclear about? I got everything down. Good to hear. I hope your stay here is an enjoyable one. As long as all of us remain considerate, the dorm will continue to be a comfortable living space for all. If there's anything you'd like to do here, you may want to invite the others to join you. Yeah, we're all living under the same roof after all. Better make the most of it. I've never really done anything like this before, so I'm a little nervous. I'll try my best to enjoy myself here with you all. This may be coming a little late for most of you, but... Welcome to the dorm. Thank you! Come to think of it, the crops I planted on the rooftop should be ready to harvest right now. Maybe I should check on them. First of all, new mechanic that we're going to get to in just a second. Um, second of all, I have quite a few things to talk about. We have our uh, harvest right here, for example. Uh... One thing that I would like to note is it's very funny how Fuka is um, friends with a character named Nasuki, and she also thinks that manga is a respectable form of literature, which mirrors the words of Natsuki from DDLC, another game I've played on the channel. Second of all, is there like some sort of lore I'm missing with the lady who used to work at like, the dormitories who used to cook for them. Because multiple times now, they've been like, there used to be a lady here who would cook for us, but she's no longer here. And so am I missing something there? Third of all, uh, he here's some stuff here. First of all, it's not a... I'm sure you're already feeling it, but the enemies are steadily growing more powerful. Don't be satisfied with how you are now. Work on improving your strength. If you wait until after a tough battle, it'll be too late. So, let's go ahead and talk to Fuka here. She has one of these smiley faces above her uh, that Mitsuru and uh, Yukari also have. 
Uh, Junpei also has one, as you can see up on the second floor there. How's it going? Um, yes, can I help you? Uh, what are you doing? Um, Yuki-kun, is it alright if I help tend to the rooftop planters too? I've actually been interested in gardening for a while now. If you don't mind, could I join you? So, there's actually a separate thing unrelated to social links or linked episodes where you get to spend time with the people living in the dorm. Uh, you hang out with them three times and it'll help them with their theurgies, I'm pretty sure. And also, a character can have multiple ones. Like, for example, um, Yukari there, as you can see in the image down below, is standing right by the TV, but if, but if she were, like, sitting at the counter where Sonata's sitting at, that would be a separate three hangouts that you could do that could also help out with her theurgies. Also, if you do ones where they help out with the garden, that'll help, that'll actually help out with the harvesting of that. I actually think it would be better if I hung out with Yukari because I think that helps also raise our social stats, but I feel bad about denying her, so that'd be great. I'll just show this off. Okay, then let's head to the rooftop then. <sighs> so this is what it's like growing plants. Oh, should we be measuring the pH of the soil or monitoring how much sunlight they're getting? You seem really into this. I don't oh, think answers here matter. Yes. I looked up a bunch of stuff online. I thought it might be helpful. I do like flowers and stuff, but I've never really worked with them outside of arrangements. I've always wanted to try putting in the work to grow some, though. Oh, sorry. I, I didn't mean to go on about myself like that. Shall we keep working for a bit more? I'll go get some water. Attended the rooftop planters with Fuka. This looks good. Thanks to the care we put in, it looks like this will be a big harvest. Do you think you could invite me when you tend the plants again? I'll do more research so I'm in a better position to help out next time, too. And that's it, just fun little side stuff. I'll be working towards hopefully completing all of those. If I'm ever, like, really working towards a specific social stat, then maybe I won't worry about them as much. But, you know, I do want to see as much of those as possible because it's really fun to see us hanging out with the various cast members. Have you heard? Hey, did you hear about that there's an opening in the art club? Seriously? Really? Did someone transfer schools? But it sounds interesting. I'm tired of going straight home. Maybe it's time to join a club. By the way. Let's go check it out after school then. Seems like there's an opening in the art club. Maybe I can learn more about them if I visit their club room. Yeah, sure. What's one more club? All right, let's begin. Palas Aron Azinomas. We all need to start somewhere. Rome wasn't built in a day. The same goes for magic. You ought to learn its background. Today I'll teach you about the origin of magic. Long, long ago, at the dawn of civilization, man created primitive religions. Animism, totemism, and shamanism all fall into this category. You learned these in world history, right? That last one, shamanism, is important to the origins of magic. A shaman would fall into a trance state and act as the intermediary between the worlds, but it counts as magic where humans can have the powers of gods and spirits in their own hands. This shaman-style magical tradition would be later embraced by witches. Take the common European witch as an example. People today think that witches derive their power from contracts with the devil, but that's just Christian propaganda. The witch's predecessors were more like maidens serving the gods. It was through prayer to those gods that they earned their powers. They learned to control their magic without losing consciousness during their trance states. That's just how they thats how they originally awoke to the practice. Originally, Europe was full of religions worshipping a slew of various gods. The collective term for them is paganism. Inter interestingly enough, the celebrations of Christ Christmas and Halloween have pagan backgrounds. Are you still paying attention? No trance states for now. Ehehe. <laughs> Here's a test to see if you were paying attention. Get it wrong and your afterlife won't be pleasant. Palas on Aron Azinomas. Now who should I pick? I choose the Yuki. What kind of religious practice was the origin of magic? Shamanism. Very good. You'll be born in your next life as a human. So, paganism and Christianity have a closer connection than one might think. As the Roman Empire grew, so did the Christian population within the Empire. 
At first, each religion practiced separately without issue, but... I answered correctly. Everyone in the class is looking at me with respect. Alright, that one didn't feel too long, but still. Maybe it's just that I'm getting used to it. We also have the art club that we're going to go check out in a sec. Oh, Yuki-kun, have you heard that the art club is accepting new members? I just did. Come to think of it, wasn't Fuka in the art club? Maybe you should go and check it out if you're interested. See how they operate and all that. I saw a girl in a gothic lolita get up in front of the station. Man, she was cute. I had to go up and ask her out. I said, hey, wanna catch a movie or something? But she didn't even move except for breathing. She didn't even bother looking my way. My ego still hasn't recovered. I think we've heard multiple times about the girl in gothic lolita clothing in front of the station, so maybe we'll learn more about her one day. So the art club is very similar to the, uh, to the, what is it, the track team. Because in the original Persona 3, you got a choice between which club you joined. You could join the art team, but you could also cho but you could also join the uh, music room and play the piano, or you could also join the home ec people. Uh, I chose I chose piano on my original playthrough. I do think art is what is shown in the Persona 3 movie, so that maybe that's why they went with it. Although, they didn't go with the Kendo team, which was also in the Persona 3 movie, so... I wonder if there's any specific reason that they chose these specific clubs, or if it was just, you know, pick one. Let's join the club. Huh? Um, you're not a member of this club, are you? Do you know him, Yamigishi-san? Oh, yes. He's the one I was just telling you about. Ah, so he's the one, huh? I've heard a lot about you from Yamagishi-san. We're looking for new members to join our club, so I mentioned you. I'm really happy you decided to stop by on your own. And, um, I'm Keisuke Hiraga. Pleased to meet you. He should be the one introducing himself to you, Keisuke-senpai. You're the club leader, aren't you? Yeah, I am. Still the same as ever. Yamagishi-san is back, and now we're getting a new member. Maybe I should be a little more active here. Wait, aren't you a third year Hiroga-senpai? Don't you have entrance exams coming up? No, I, uh... Don't worry about that. Hey, do you have an eye for art? Yeah, kinda. <laughs> then maybe we'll get to learn a thing or two from you. Meeting you like this can't be just a coincidence. It must be fate. Let's get you signed up, shall we? Hiraga gave me a warm welcome. I joined the art club and made friends with the members. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast established a new bond. Thou shalt have our blessing when thou choosest to create a persona of the Fortune Arcana. Just so you know, only club members are allowed to enter this room. So don't forget to turn in your registration form. The art club meets on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. But we don't meet on the days leading up to exams. We should be studying then anyway. You don't have to come every day, so just try to show up every now and then. Who would have thought we'd end up in the same club? Okay, I'll get this all processed. Looking forward to painting with you. After joining the club, I decided to go back to the dorm. So yeah, Hiraga's nice. Not much more to say about him, he's just... He's cool. Oh, you're back. Should we head to Tartarus later? We have some time before the next full moon, but the enemies are growing stronger too. So I'd like to train with Polydeuces. Even more. How about it? No, not quite yet, and I'll explain I'll explain the reason Yeah, I'll explain the reason why we won't be going uh tomorrow. Jinpei kun said you you're playing an online game. Is that true, Yuki kun? Yes, it is. Oh, so you can play with people from all over the world, right? 
It's great that the internet is able to connect to all kinds of people. Maybe I should give it a try. Remember, this is back in 2009 when, you know, the internet was... It wasn't new, necessarily, but it was still, like, something that was, like, big and crazy. Like, YouTube had only existed for, you know, five years at this point, or four years, even. Connecting with people all over the world was still something that was, like, pretty big, pretty crazy from what I can tell. It seems certain clubs have begun actively recruiting new members. Oh, but you're already in a yes. club, aren't you? Well, there's no rule against joining multiple clubs. Feel free to join the any that pique your interest. Juggle, juggling studies, club activities, and shadows won't be easy, but it, but it surely builds character. Hey, do you think apathy syndrome can be cured? Yeah, I believe so. Oh, maybe. Yeah, maybe if we defeat a shadow, the spirits of date will return to their owners. But then again, they might just get digested. Ugh. Could try hanging out with Akihiko. You know what, I'll start doing more of these hangouts with people once I fully max out Courage. Because I'm still waiting on that, because there is still something that we can unlock once we max out Courage. Ugh, oh, not quite. I can still feel it though, we're right there. morning, this is Elizabeth. There is something I wish to discuss with you, so please come to the Velvet Room post-haste. I believe this matter is of great import to you. I shall be anticipating your arrival. Elizabeth wants to tell me something. What could be so important? I should go to the Velvet Room after school. I can hear people talking. By the way... Kurijo Group was on the news yesterday, so that I showed the true colors. Yeah. A Kareja? Oh, the student council president? I hear they're involved in a lot of things. Even the school's owned by the Kareja group, right? I know, right? I wonder why the company that, that big decided to build a school. So yeah, we'll go ahead and talk with Elizabeth real quick and then out, end off the episode. I've been waiting for you. Forgive me for calling you so suddenly, but there's something I must bring to your attention. There seems to be a human presence within the Tartarus between floors 48 and 53. It appears to be someone without the potential who heard the voices of the shadows. If left alone, I fear they will become lost and may perish. Very well, then. Please find and rescue them. So yeah, you remember how Fuka got, uh, was in the school right when Tartarus appeared, and then she got trapped in there for like 10 days? That wasn't just a one-time occurrence, this will be a regular thing for the rest of the game. People wandering into Tartarus, and us having to pull them out. Also, you have to uh, rescue them before the next full moon, because if the, if the full moon comes by and you haven't rescued them, they will just straight up die. And sometimes, very rarely, but sometimes, these people will be social links. And if they die, you will not be able to complete the social link for the rest of the game. So yeah, be sure to talk to those people. This is what I was waiting for because uh, it kind of takes a little bit. Um, because it's kind of it kind of sucks, like going into Tartarus as soon as you can, and then having to go back in to get those missing people. So I'll wait until um, some more missing people arrive, but of course before July sixth, and we'll go ahead and. Um, get all of those people as well as um, exploring the new parts of Tartarus in one go. Getting hungry, should we stop somewhere and eat? Octopia's Takoyaki, it's Iwatoni Strip Mall. That doesn't help us out at all. Times have changed, but some things like schools have, having ghost stories never do. I used to sneak into the school grounds at night. The teachers would give me holy hell for it. So yeah, that's going to be it for today. Thank you guys all so much for watching, and in the next episode, we're going to continue on with social links and maybe actually go into Tartarus. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!